Hey, what's up everybody? I'm Scott and welcome to the Travel and Invest channel where we talk about ways you can travel for less as well as other personal finance topics. Now there are a lot of hotel brands out there, but the two most popular are probably Hilton and Marriott. In the past 12 months, I've stayed in Hilton and Marriott properties in Canada, Tanzania, Uganda, and throughout the US. And I'll tell you, in my opinion, these are the best hotel brands. I've gotten some really good upgrades over the years and some great deals. Today we're going to take a look at the two companies top tier credit cards and see which credit card has the best value for frequent travelers. So the two cards are the Hilton Aspire and the Marriott Bonvoy Brilliant both by American Express. I have them both and I must say they're both legit. But before we get into it go ahead and hit that like button as it really helps the channel out and also subscribe to the channel if you haven't done so already. First let's take a look at the sign up bonuses. The Hilton Aspire has a sign-up bonus of 150,000 points and the Marriott Bonvoy Brilliant has a sign-up bonus of 75,000 points. But check this out. The Marriott Bonvoy Brilliant has an increased sign-up offer of 100,000 points that ends April 8, 2020. Hilton points are valued at around 0.6 cents per point and Marriott points are valued at about 0.9 cents per point. I use the points guys valuation, which is in line with the amount of points I've been paying for stays recently, so we're going to stick with that. This means 150,000 Hilton points are valued at $900 and 75,000 Marriott points are valued at $675. However, Marriott's current 100,000 point sign up offer is also valued at $900. I'm going to give this point to the Hilton Aspire as their normal sign-up offer is the same value as the Marriott Bonvoy Brilliant's current increased sign-up offer. Also, before I forget, if you're interested in either of these two cards, I'll leave my referral link in the description box below. Next, let's take a look at the annual fee. The Hilton Aspire has an annual fee of $450, and the Marriott Bonvoy Brilliant also has an annual fee of $450. So this category is a tie. Next, let's take a look at the point earnings. With the Hilton Aspire, you're going to earn 14 points per dollar spent on Hilton properties, which is really good. You're going to earn 7 points per dollar spent on U.S. restaurants, car rentals booked directly with the car rental companies, and flights booked directly with the airlines or on Amex Travel. And lastly, you're going to earn 3 points per dollar spent everywhere else. With the Marriott Bonvoy Brilliant, you're going to earn 6 points per dollar spent at Marriott properties, 3 points per dollar spent on U.S. restaurants and flights booked directly with the airlines, and two points per dollar spent everywhere else. Not only does the Hilton Aspire earn more, but it also has more categories. So the Hilton Aspire takes another point. Next, let's take a look at the annual statement credits and also the annual free nights you get with each card. With the Hilton Aspire, you get an annual free weekend reward night that you can use on a Friday, Saturday, or Sunday night. You get this reward night certificate when you open your account and on every card member anniversary. You can earn a second reward night if you spend $60,000 on the car in a calendar year. You get a $250 annual Hilton Resort statement credit that can be used towards room rates, room service, spa services, and things of that nature. But remember, this is only at Hilton Resort properties, not all properties. Lastly, you get a $100 Hilton on property credit for incidentals at Waldorf Astoria and Conrad Hotel properties if you stay two nights or more. With the Marriott Bonvoy Brilliant, you get a free annual night on your one year anniversary and every card member anniversary after. The downside about this free night is that you have to wait one year to start getting it. Unlike the Hilton Aspire where you start getting it upon account opening. On the other hand, you can use it any day of the week as opposed to the Hilton Aspire where you can only use theirs on a weekend night. Also, the Marriott free annual nights can be used for stays worth 50,000 points or less. So there is a cap on the award night, but you can still get some pretty good rooms for 50,000 points domestic or internationally. You're going to get a $300 annual Marriott statement credit that can be used towards room rates, room service, spa services, and things of that nature. But unlike the Hilton Aspire, you can use this credit on all Marriott properties, not just resorts. And lastly, you get a $100 Marriott on property credit for incidentals at Ritz Carlton and St. Regis properties if you stay two nights or more. This one is tough, but I'm going to have to give it to the Marriott Bonvoy Brilliant as the credits are easier to use. You're not limited to weekends on the reward night. You're not limited to resorts on the statement credits. Yes, you do have to wait a year for the free reward night. However, the flexibility is much better in my opinion. Next, let's take a look at the hotel status you get with each card. 
With the Hilton Aspire card, you get diamond status, which is Hilton's top elite status. With diamond status, you get things such as free room upgrades, free breakfast, fifth night free on rewards days, late checkout, 100% bonus points, lounge access, and a wide variety of other benefits. Diamond status is one of the best perks of this card. I've gotten some crazy room upgrades over the past year, domestic and internationally. And when I'm traveling for me, that free breakfast is always beneficial. With the Marriott Bonvoy Brilliant, you're gonna get gold status, which is Marriott's third best elite status. With Marriott Gold status, you get upgrades into enhanced rooms, but nothing compared to Hilton Diamond status upgrades. You also get late checkout, 25% bonus points, and a few other benefits. The Hilton Aspire easily wins this category. Lastly, let's look at memberships you get and other benefits. With the Hilton Aspire, you get Priority Pass membership, which gives you and two guests access to over 1,500 lounges worldwide. With the Marriott Bonvoy Brilliant card, you get the same Priority Pass membership that comes with the Hilton Aspire. You also get a Global Entry TSA PreCheck Application Credit Statement, Purchase Protection, Trip Cancellation and Trip Interruption Insurance, and also Trip Delay Insurance. So this last point goes to the Marriott Bonvoy Brilliant as it has better insurances and the Global Entry TSA PreCheck Statement Credit. So that put the final score as the Hilton Aspire 4 and the Marriott Bonvoy Brilliant 3. As you can see, in my opinion, the Hilton Aspire comes out on top. I personally have gotten tons of value from this card. It's definitely a keeper card because of all the value you get from it. I also think the Marriott Bonvoy Brilliant is a keeper card. I've gotten tons of value from that card also and plan on keeping it long term. If you're trying to decide on which card is best for you, it's probably going to come down to which hotel brand you like best. I don't think you can go wrong with either one. If you want to check out some of my other hotel co-branded credit card reviews, you can click on the playlist here. And also, if you want to check out some free hotel stays I've gotten using credit card points and miles and the reviews of those hotels, you can click on the playlist here. I'll see you in the next video. Have a good one.